Hello and welcome back to the channel. Feels like forever since we vlogged anything and got a little bit to catch you up on. But before I do that, I guess firstly I just wanted to say thank you so much for such a kind, empathetic and genuine response from the last video. It was kind of very spur of the moment that I thought I'll just talk about it and get it out there and I did not expect the reaction that it had. I had lots of comments on the vlog itself, I had lots of messages through Instagram, Facebook Messenger, emails, so many of you responded to that video and shared with me your own story which can't have been easy to do and not that you want anyone else to go through anything like this but it actually really did help to hear from others and hear like the other side of it so thank you I do genuinely really appreciate it and it made me feel the warm fuzzies for sure so what have we been doing the last couple of months um I have been on my treatment for HRT and the dosage has now been increased following a follow-up with the doctor and um, I do need to have more follow-ups I've had a bone scan that I'm still waiting for the results from they're going to do an ultrasound um, on this area um, I don't know exactly what they're going to be scanning which is why I'm being a bit vague um, but there will be an ultrasound that I've been referred to so lots of medical things um, but in terms of how I'm feeling, I'm actually feeling okay, and I say like tentatively okay. Like I think the medication is all starting to kick in. There's been other medication that I've been put on for other things, and that's also helping. So yeah, I think I'm okay. <laughs> I certainly feel a lot like more brighter and positive than I have done in some months, so obviously that's great. Now. What I wanted to show you in this video was a bit of a haul and just some like bits that we picked up on the way because if you have seen the community post that I shared I had a very unexpected and very 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 last minute trip to Florida so my friend Sarah from Magical by Sarah and Lauren they booked a very last minute trip and we were just chatting because they were coming around for Sunday dinner and we were chatting, arranging the plans for that and they invited me along and at first I was kind of like, oh yeah, ha, that would be nice. But then Pete was like, do it. And then I thought, hmm, maybe I could. Like my super organized planning brain was like, no, 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 it's too last minute, too short notice. But I guess the last six months has kind of taught me about like not waiting around. Sometimes things just happen and just go with the flow, which is not really like me. So I went with the flow and I went on a very last minute trip to Florida. And firstly, I think, you know, for my friends to invite me it was so gracious of them to have me like invade their holiday. And I was a little bit anxious about it, obviously being so far away from home and um, on a girls trip that's not something I tend to do but we had the best time, it was just a lot of laughs, lots and lots of belly laughs. Um, we were keeping it to a budget so we didn't do any of the parks but we did get a little Disney fix because we did Disney resort hopping, we did Disney Springs, we did City Walk, we did iDrive. We went to the outlets, I sang karaoke on a live, in front of a live band, which is way out of my comfort zone. I am tone deaf by the way, um, but it was just fun, like yeah, proper out of my comfort zone, but lots of fun things. And it was so nice to get back to the boys after a week away and I missed them a lot, but we were in touch obviously daily and I'm just glad I did it so thank you so much to Sarah and Lauren for inviting me along it was really kind of you and I had the best time so what I have to share 
is a bit of a haul from the trip. So we've got Bath and Body Works bag because we went to the uh, premium outlets and oh, got this one. Oh. Uh, this is a decanted bag of stuff from all kinds of places that we went to and some not from the trip but I wanted to share with you anyway. So yes, let's do a little haul. Oh, that really is heavy. Um, there's a lot of candy in there at Oscar's request, which is why it's so heavy. But yeah, let me show you what we got. Oh, before I show you, sorry, I'm kind of like jumping around all over the show because, again, I just kind of thought, let's make a vlog today. So I'm not kind of like prepared, so sorry. Um, there will be a trip announcement coming very, very soon, maybe next week. We have booked a family trip and I can't wait to share the details with you on that as well. We're very excited and um, obviously I had a little cheeky trip to Florida just now but it's been, or by the time we go, it'll have been a year since our last family trip to Florida and over a year for what we're going to be doing. So stay tuned for that. But yes, let me show you what we got. Firstly, Bath and Body Works. Now, we do have a Bath and Body Works in the Trafford Centre, which is near us in Manchester, but it's pricey. You do not get the American prices. Um, so we have bought a few things from like the Trafford Centre just to keep us topped up. So I was quite happy to go and take advantage of the offers. And the offer that we took advantage of was the five hand soaps. I think it was $27 car air fresheners they don't even do that here and I'm obsessed with them but firstly the hand soap that I am obsessed with at the minute is the white tea and sage so I did actually buy this in a candle from the Trafford Center and it's the fragrance notes is fresh tea lemon and herbs and it's such a clean and fresh scent I'm just obsessed with it I love it so I got two of these and also the car air freshener as well. I do have a holder that we bought on a previous trip, so these are just like the inserts. I think these were like three for 11. But yeah, I am loving this scent at the minute. It's Easter this weekend, so if you are watching, happy Easter. Um, I had to get an Easter scent. So this is the Cottontail Cake Pop. Delicious cake batter, rainbow sprinkles, and fluffy buttercream. And what does this one smell like? Like a cake, like a sweet, it smells like a sweet shop. That's just gorgeous. I'm also loving anything like beachy, ocean side. Like, I don't know if that's just where my head is at at the minute, cause it's just so calming. Like when I am head down in work, I am listening to ocean waves and beach sounds. So it's just on the braid at the minute. So we got a Seaside Cove, which is sea spray, coconut and sandalwood, and turquoise waters, which is bergamot, daylily and sea spray. So just really fresh, clean. We're coming into spring now, soon to be summer. Like, this is kind of what I want at the minute. The other car fragrances I got was an Endless Weekend. I don't think, can I smell it through that? A little bit. And Wakiki Beach Coconut. So again, just like continuing with that fresh, clean, that's what I'm into at the minute. Pete made a request. He wanted some green shower gel. So I got him the fresh water one. I think he's had this before. So I don't know if he actually meant green as in to replace the one that he had or was just being funny as in like, get me something green. But yeah, he got this one. And finally, I got a moisturizer. This is uh, vanilla buttercream. And it is actually, again, this one smells very cakey. I think I tried it as a tester and was like, oh, this is nice. Yeah, oh, that just smells like cake. Oh, watch me now get like attacked by like wasps in this country or something. But love that. That's going straight in my handbag. So I'm going to dig into the giant bag and therefore it will probably be in a bit of a random order. But this was from Disney Springs, The World of Disney character warehouse walmart um some stuff that's come in the post 
anything else? Maybe. We did quite a few like shoppingy bits, which was great. We all know how much Oscar hates the shop, so I could I felt like I could like go and do and like not feel rushed. It was lovely. So firstly how gorgeous is this? So this was in character warehouse for I'm gonna say well I saw the conversion on my car so it was like twelve pounds. So it's big print Disney Wish Maiden Voyage 2022. This should have been $75 and I think sometimes the bargains that you get are like amazing aren't they? But we were on this Disney Wish Maiden Voyage in 2022 and we have just started making a, another like gallery wall in our house. I'll show you actually I'll film and put some of the clip in. So I think this would be perfect for that. It's beautiful. I love it. And to go along with the big print, we got a little print. And this is in Larry Dotson. And whenever we go to like the festivals, uh, Festival of the Arts or into Disney Springs in the art shop, I'm always drawn to his work because I just think it's so pretty. So straight away this print struck me because it's Disney Cruise, it's the sea, like it's all the vibes that I'm having at the minute. But amazingly, Larry Dotson was in Disney Springs signing, which made that even better. So he's put a little message on it, enjoying magical adventures with the Storrs family. Larry Dotson, $25, very cute and I love it. My granddad was a painter and the waves, it just reminds me of what he used to paint because he used to paint a lot of like their holidays. It's just lovely. I can't wait to get this one framed. From the Disney Resort, uh, we picked up refillable mugs each and I love this teal colour. Oscar loves it too. Um, these are, are they better designed? I don't feel like I've ever had one with this clip on it before. Um, what was this? 20 five I think um and we did a lot of Disney resort hopping we definitely made our money's worth on these because yeah they were a godsend that orangey Fanta obsessed back to character warehouse and I found the most amazing bucket hat I am a bit obsessed with bucket hats I was wearing um well I stole it from Oscar actually Oscar's Nightmare Before Christmas one and I just think it's so cute but obviously with our pending trip coming Obviously, I'm not going to steal his hat. Um, so I saw this one and thought it was perfect. $7.99, but it was supposed to be $34.99, which seems like a lot. I'm happy to pay $7.99, but not happy to pay $35 for it. Now, this one has got that sort of cartoony print all over. We've got Dumbo. We've got Mickey. Lots of Mickeys, actually. Cheshire Cat. Tinkerbell. Stitch. Wool and Mickey on the top, and it's actually reversible. So if we flip it inside out, we've got the castle with some fireworks, and I love both colours. What I'm not loving is this tail. Um, given it's reversible, I don't know. I wonder if I can unpick the stitching maybe because even if I cut it, that's going to leave a thing on it. This is from the Joey Chu collection. And I love it. Yeah, happy with that price, but yeah, like flying a kite. We were staying on International Drive at the Avanti Palms, and of course, it's surrounded by like tap gift shops. And this is open because we bought them to split. So there was a mini and a Mickey a car and tenor topper, three ninety nine. And I've always wanted a Disney antenna topper for the car i've seen so many people with them but i've never knew where to buy them so international drive gift shops is where it's at this next thing i love again from character warehouse for 7.99 reduced from 24.99 now we always like to buy tree decorations and our 2022 trip that we did encanto was everywhere it was like the soundtrack to our trip so I'm really pleased to have got this one with Mirabelle standing in front of the door with all the beautiful flowers. And it's actually musical. I'm not going to pull the tab, I'll wait till Christmas, but it plays 
Welcome to the family, Madrigal. And I love that. But yeah, $7.99, much better than $24.99. Now, when we were on our Disney cruise in August, Oscar picked up the Pride Spirit jersey, which he loves. And when I saw this in World of Disney, it was just perfect for him. And it's obviously very colourful. It doesn't have a hood, but it is that rain jacket material. And it's relatively thick, actually. Um, but you know what the UK is like for rain. So I thought this would be perfect. And I have to point out the little zip detailing. How amazing is that? I want all my zips to have Mickey heads on. So this one was 59.99 and I got it in a bigger size so this is going to last him for like a good couple of years I reckon but this is so cute in fact I reckon that maybe I could fit into this so once he's done with it if it's not trashed <laughs> I will uh, wear this but how cute is that with the embroidered Mickey heads love that also in World of Disney I was very drawn to this jumper um towing and salvage tow mater radiator springs this is not normally a color i would go for at all but i just loved it and look at the back tow mater i just think it's so cute now i got this in a medium i kind of hover between a small and a medium in disney size but pete was already like that looks like it'll fit me i'll have that no sir no you won't um this one 54.99 and it's really thick actually and yeah just that nice like jumper material on the inside now we are coming up to our warmer weather season in the uk so hopefully this will just be nice like to throw on over like an outfit but i just love it and oscar loved the cars movies when he was much younger and yeah, he had a light, like lightning bed, like race car bed. So it stays with you, doesn't it? But it's cute. Cute. Those two items were definitely like the splurges because obviously they were full price. But if we go back to Character Warehouse for this next item, which was only $5. And it is a Disney Cruise Line. It's long sleeve and it's that really nice, like thin slouchy material. And on the back, obviously it's a bit out of date now with the new ships coming on, but we've got the magic, the wonder, the fantasy, the dream, and it's distressed Mickey. Now this was only available in a small, and it's a bit of an odd shape if I'm honest, because it's quite narrow, but it's really long. So I don't know if that's me or Oscar, but either way for $5, I wasn't leaving it behind. I love that. Perfect. Oh, and then this next t-shirt. Oh, love it. So this is a Coco t-shirt. And how much was this one? I think this was $12.99. And it, to me, it reminds me of the band t-shirts I used to wear. Like with the, with the like font that they've used and the distressedness and the actual, um, I don't know what they call it, like that outer stitching. I love it. What does it say? Fly high, Pepita. Mundo tour. So maybe that's what they were going for, actually. It was like a band t-shirt style. Again, I got this in a medium. I know. Small. That looks quite big, that, doesn't it? Small. I couldn't have got any smaller than that, but I love that. So cute. Now, on to the treats. You will see I had a bit of a long wish list from Oscar and managed to get everything so i'm quite happy um and in fact more that was definitely the mungil was like oh buy loads of stuff um so m m peanut butter eggs these are kind of like mini eggs i think but with a coating of peanut butter he asked for peanut butter m m so when i saw the eggs as well i thought perfect for easter really cute i like a good size bag Two giant party size bags of peanut butter M&M's. They will last him for a while like they did last time. I think he was had them for like three or six months or something. But 
yeah two bags of these now this was the weight this was um my case i put my case up to 25 kilograms because a i was traveling on my own and b i, I knew i was going to be bringing stuff back i used every ounce of that weight in that case and in fact i had to do that shameless ditch a couple of bits at the airport to fit everything in but god these are probably like a kilogram in itself we picked up another box of the graham crackers although it's really hard to say it like that and not say graham crackers um but we love s'mores and these are perfect giant marshmallow on the top a couple of squares of your favorite chocolate yum i had to get a little ghirardelli um i think pete would have been quite cross if i'd brought home another big bag because i still am working my way through ones that i got i can't remember how long ago um but yeah sea salt caramel bunnies so i think these must be like maybe a bigger size but how cute is that i loved all the easter displays in there i could have brought home so much but yeah i restrained myself <laughs> Another request was for the Girl Scout Thin Mints because they were really nice. Oscar loved them. Couldn't find the Girl Scout ones, but I did find these Fudge Mints cookie squares. So I'm assuming that they're probably just as good. Um, it's a smaller packet than the Thin Mints. Uh, these ones were from Publix. A Reese's Peanut Butter Bar. Um... I absolutely hate peanut butter but the boys love it so this is chocolate candy and peanut butter cream that's on the on the middle of the bar so I think they'll be quite happy with that again another like Easter special these are the Reese's pieces eggs with peanut butter candy in a crunchy shell and just cute little dinky boxes I'm assuming that this is what's inside those maybe although those those look like more egg shaped more egg these ones are just like flat like an M&M um, but in a cute little carrot bag so again Easter range but those cute little dinky size Nutter Butter Cookies I hadn't heard of these ones before in fact I got a text from them whilst I was there to say oh so they've obviously seen them somewhere like on a film or tv show um so i had to kind of hunt around for these one but these are peanut butter sandwich cookies and in a cute like peanut shape i've literally i'm not gonna be able to eat any of this what a shame okay i think this is the final treat and oscar had put on his list chips ahoy and then when i saw these these are a collab chips ahoy with reese's so these are peanut butter cup chips ahoy um in a good size packet but yeah it'll last him for a while i popped into sephora because uh this was at disney springs because i had a request from chloe uh, so she's picked that up already she wanted some lip plumping gloss that we got whilst i was in there i picked up the sephora clear gel brow gel um i quite like these and i thought this was just like their own brand but people talk about Sephora a lot, so I thought I'd give that a go. I then also picked up this lip recovery kit. So it's from a brand called Fresh that I've never heard of before. And it has a lip treatment and a lip mask. Now, I don't know about anyone else at the minute. I'm assuming it's like coming out of winter. But my lips are like so dry. I am constantly on with like the Vaseline, the Nivea lip balm. Uh, I have a, like a Kiehl's one that I use overnight, but I still, so I thought I'd try this. I think maybe it's like a bit of a scrub, like a sugar scrub. It's got sugar therapy in it apparently. Um, but I'll try this just as we're coming into spring. Hopefully that will help. And then I signed up and I was given a free gift. So this is a clear brow gel. Can't have too many. And a wet lip oil gloss. But that's not bad for a little freebie. Again, what brand is that? Cassas is. Cassas? Am I saying that properly? Um, never heard of that brand before. But there you go. Just little miniatures to stick in the travel bag. From the little I Drive gift shop, I picked Oscar up a little named license plate that he can have in his room. 
Now my full name, I never got to have personalised gifts, so I'm like a bit of a sucker for them when I see them. Um, and luckily Oscar, Sophie and Chloe, they don't miss out. But yes, a uh, little orange groove on there, just like the Florida licence plates, I think that's really cute. And whilst we were there, I obviously ha had to pop into the Hulk Hogan beach shop and get Pete another Hulkamania t-shirt. I love that it's got 1984, which is Pete's year of birth. He's gonna be the big 4-0 this year. So I got him one, but we are doing a little trip later this year with two friends of ours, Rob and Dave Caden Elkins. Go check out their channel if you haven't seen it already. They do Florida trips, but also lots of center parks trips. And is that how they found our channel? I don't know, but for the last, I don't know, maybe two years we've been talking and anytime one of us spots like a Hulk type reference we'll send it to each other. So of course I had to get them all matching t-shirts for the trip that we're gonna do. Had to be done. I should, do you know, on hindsight I thought I should have got Oscar a little one as well and then they could have all been running around together. Um, but I don't think Oscar would get the reference but yeah, so we got three of these and they are going to look amazing when we go on our trip later this year. And last couple of bits, so I picked up this Walt Disney World 2024 pin. I always like to buy, now that we are pin collecting, I like to buy one with the year of the trips that we're doing. Um, so yeah, 2024 for this one. But it was so funny because I obviously picked this one up. And then I received some magic mail from Disneyland Paris. If you've been following with this channel for a while, you'll know that I'm a UK Dream Team member for Disneyland Paris, which is a volunteer role. And I originally started in 2019, and it's a cycle that lasts a year, but because of COVID, we stayed on a little bit longer. And then since then, they've had another cohort that have come in. And then with their third cohort that they're doing, the first cohort were invited to apply again because they don't want you doing it back to back so you have to have a break and I've been successful for that again. So I am a UK Dream Team member and they sent some gorgeous magic mail to welcome us to the team and this is a pin trading lanyard with lots of pins on it. So you've got, and I, I like all the bright colours for this one, so we've got the castle, Minnie, Mickey, Tink, Sorcerer Mickey hat, 2024. And then on the lanyard itself is all dated 2024. So I thought that was so cute. But then they also sent this 2024 pin, which looks just like this one, which is fab because now we've got one from Walt Disney World and Disneyland Paris. And they are, they say it on each pin. So I love that they match. Really cute and really happy with that. What a lovely gift to receive. And we'll be going straight on our pin board. And the final thing that arrived was from Get Ready Comics. And they have just released a new bow range. And we are obsessed. We love that show. And they had like a bow Funko Pop that you just can't buy anywhere. But it's the cutest thing. I really want it. So when they announced their bow range, I knew I had to get something from it. And how lovely is this? It comes in this really nice box. This one, I think I paid like £15 for it, something like that. It's limited edition, only 1900 in existence. So let's open it up. How pretty is that? It's like the biggest pin that we own. Look how big it is. Head reference. But this is a special pin because it's a moving pin. So if I just open up his little steamer, and there he is underneath on a little bed of lettuce. It's adorable. And uh, the pin board is just behind me. It's not gonna fit on there. We might need to get another one. But how adorable is this? He's just the cutest little character. Like, I just wanna squeeze his little bow cheeks. Gorgeous. And yeah, such a lovely like presentation box as well. So that's it. 
So apologies if this vlog was a bit all over the show. I'm obviously just excited to be like be talking to you again. Um, let me know how you've been and anything that you've been up to. I love chatting with you all. It's always really nice. So thank you. And yeah, again, thank you for just such kindness. It just meant a lot. And I have to say, I think having a trip away to the sunshine with like no responsibilities, not work, not being a mom, not being a wife, just myself to look after, I think did me a bit of a world of good. And obviously that sunshine, that vitamin D here has helped massively. So yes, I feel like I'm in a good place at the minute. I hope it lasts. <laughs> So yes, we'll be back with trip announcement for our next vlog. So keep an eye out for that. Hopefully it'll be next week and we'll tell you all the details because it's not that far away now, which is very exciting. But no, thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon. Bye.